right, this is dreadful. You've got all the equipment, you can't even use it. No! Oh, mate, you are dreadful. Right, there you we are. You and your hair, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> you just love talking about your hair. Like, oh, my hair fell off. you're like, oh, if I should find my hair, my hair goes, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, physics said you remind me of gum. And that's why I said, yeah, you sound like him too with your broken jaw. First thing I said, anybody touches me, I will break their hands. Mate, you couldn't move. I know I couldn't. I would, I, like, if I, if I could have been around for that time, I would have deliberately kept poking you. Probably. I'm a, but, you know, we couldn't be working together because, you know, the boss would be a douche. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that, that's the funny thing. Our boss hated, I mean, hated us working together. To but be fair, not surprised. Yeah, we talk a lot, we mess about a lot, we pull pranks on each other, which I'm about to get to as well. But well, we, we got, got the... Work the done. Huh? We got the work done. We used to piss all over everyone else's work. Yeah, we pissed all over everybody's work. We... Uh, back when Bezix was still there, remember doing the casting racks? Yeah. They smashed them out. How much did we do? 108 in one chip, wasn't it? Uh, no, 109. 109? Yeah. But the target that the boys set was 42? Yeah. Well, Anthony came down, or Bizix, came down and said, oh, you haven't done that many. So we just turned around and said, look how many there is. Check the camera, tell me there was prior to that. How are we going now? Down this way. Okay. And uh, he he literally said, oh, crap. Hang on. Yeah, there you go. Bizix said, fuck off, you haven't done that many. So we showed him. We smashed the target. Actually, annihilated it. Mm-hmm. We done triple the amount of what they wanted us to do. I wouldn't say uh, triple. It's a little half of it more. Yeah, but day shift was on uh, eight hour shift or us we were on a ten hour shift. No, yeah. vice versa, we were on an eight hour shift, they were on a ten hour shift. Yeah. But that was fun. Or in a blast. <laughs> blast was the worst. <laughs> the blast was honestly that was horrible. To be fair though. I'm not gonna lie, I, did, I wasn't much use in the blast. I did used to fall asleep in there quite a lot. Yeah, and me carrying your weight. But uh, I don't it's, think so. It's how we worked. If I was feeling rough, Rob would take over, he'd carry me. If Rob was feeling rough, tired, whatever, uh, I'd carry him. It, yeah. That's why me and Rob were the best team there. At the time. Oh, remember doing those. Uh, uh, racks for Mark uh, that we had a prototype and we had to copy it but it was completely different to the drawings we had and it was different again to what they wanted where well, we done 17 and Mark had a go at us with uh, on days they done 13 all day long oh yeah I remember and we had to use the, uh, the settling torch as well to yeah. mod them clips yes yeah so they were trying they kept saying oh we're the worst workers there but they'd still end up pairing us together. So clearly something wasn't right. Oof. Dude, see, they're massive boots. You nearly went into that head, John. <laughs> that would have been creasing. It's because I was trying to set the camera again. Oh my God, you and this camera. I know. Right, let's do this. Why are we, we're literally like walking Ow. through the wilderness. It was a stick. It pulled my hair. Oh mate, you and your hair. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. But no, we have a history and a half together. Oh yeah. Hey. Accidents, laughs. Well, oh, let's go. <laughs> ah, let's go to the pranking parts. Remember when you welded uh, the energy drink shut inside a mesh cage? Uh -huh. <laughs> I will put a photo of that in. <laughs> but, laugh or I still got that, mind. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> I told you I'm keeping that as a souvenir. That was creasing. That, that would teach you for being a dick, though. <laughs> oh. What happened when you came back where I welded your hammer to the bench? Oh, that was funny. <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> it took me so long to get that thing back off. And Vaughn was just like asking me like, what, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I, I accidentally welded my hammer to the desk. He's like, how do you accidentally weld a hammer to a desk? I was like, I don't know. With a freaking welder, how do you think? <laughs> you know? So it doesn't take a genius to work out the steel melts to steel. <laughs> Remember, I will also put, well, I'll put the photo of the can in. Remember when I had you with a fag banger? 
Oh, mate. I will put that a was, video footage of that. That was creasing. You had me good on that one. You had... Oh, mate. I... Ever since then, though, I've never trusted a fag off you since. <laughs> like, I'm gonna say a hand rolled one. I don't, you know, he offers me straights and stuff like that, but yeah, I don't mind them. But if he ever offers me like a hand rolled fag, nah, it ain't happening. And I still had you with the straights. You did, didn't? I, yeah, that's true, actually. Oh, remember when I had Bodman where he Bodman like. Bodman was <laughs> creasing. He nearly had a heart attack. He uh, nearly had a heart attack. What's his name? Uh, oh, God, for goodness sake. Oh, wait. David, this is some terrain and a half, like. Ow! <laughs> you know? Wait, let's show them the terrain. That's it going is, downhill. Yeah. That's going back. And all back up hell. Tree roots and sand, <laughs> and more tree roots. Oh, what? Well, well, the guy that uh, died, the manager. What was his name? Brian. Brian. Yeah, Brian was sitting there next to Bodman when uh, his fag went off. Oh. Brian jumped. I thought he was going to break the chair, and Brian <laughs> wasn't a small guy. But Bodman, oh, his fag, uh, you can imagine. You know in cartoons, where, whenever they done like an explosion of a gun that had something lodged in the front of it, where it just like banana opens up peels. like a, Yeah. It just banana peels. That was, that was literally like Bodman's cigarette down to the tip. Yep, I, he was he, creasing. He he was sitting down on one of the steps. He literally laid down on the floor. <laughs> he just he nearly had a heart attack. Like that's not even a joke. Like he generally had to gather his breath again. Oh, we were howling though. <laughs> oh, it was creasing. But no, I will put the footage of uh, me getting robbed. I managed to record that. He sat there wondering why is he sitting there with his phone aimed at me, but yeah. didn't think much of it. After you done it, I was, I was literally like, I was like, what's he doing? I just thought you were just messing about with your phone, like, but no. And then that thing went off, and I was like, holy, I'm not going to sweat. <laughs> no, you said, Jesus <laughs> Christ. You didn't even get to finish Christ. I know, yeah. <laughs> Oh, what else did we do to each Oh, Dan and the blast, where you kept chops into me, and then you pulled a prank on him, and he came threatening me. Oh, where well, I turned... <laughs> Please. This is really bad, don't do this if you ever become in this business or you ever do something thing like that. Do not turn off the oxygen supply to someone's mask because it's, you know, it does get really bad in there. It gets hot and... Yeah. It, is, it is horrible and you can't see anything as well because it's dusty. It's really dusty. But yeah, he sat there chops in, right? And I'm not joking, I want to punch him but I'm already on my last warning after I've already like... I had numerous, numerous things of supervisors and other staff and this kind of thing. Same here, but I kicked off the worst with yeah, Gilbert. Yeah, but anyway, we're not going to go into detail with that one, because, uh, you know, that's just, it's just stupid behaviour, we'll say that. Anyway, so he had their chops in, I was like, right, what's the best way I can get him without actually touching him? So he went in the blast, I was like, oh, I'll have him now. So I turned off the, the like, the air supply. In to the, the actual blast, yeah, but the, we didn't know a switch. It also switches off the air supply. Yeah. Until that day. Yeah, we didn't know that. Never, because every time you go in there, you come out of the blast, you turn off all the equipment and so on. So you're never really in in the blast when the air supply's cut off. So yeah, I done that. Left him to it, and then he come out just storming out. It yeah. was funny he, as hell. He went chop. straight for you, didn't he? Yep. Straight for you. He was like, I know you did it. Blah, 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 all this stuff. You he's, sat there he's smirking. Like, yeah, he's like, I'm going to take your fucking head off. I was like, the only person you're going to take a head off is me, because I turned off the blast. No, he, it wasn't. It was him. You just sticking up for him. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like, he was dead set against you, weren't he? Like, oh, yeah. He was not accepting it. I was like, mate, I did it. I went off the blast. I turned off your air. I thought it was funny. If you want to do something about it, let's take it out in the car park. He didn't want to take it out in the car park. He just went straight to the supervisor. Yeah, Ben came down and said, boys, don't do it. I know it's funny. I know none of us like it, but just don't do it. I don't want to be dealing with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ben was, ben was great. Like, he was he, sound. He was, he was one sound. of the best supervisors we've had. He understood when we had an issue. If we had an issue, he tried doing something about it. It wasn't, oh, just get it done. Yeah. No, it was, he definitely... Like tried as hard as to like sort things out, but no, it was funny though. Oh, it was yeah. really funny. Just the way Ben said, just don't do it. I don't, I don't want to deal with him, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But no, when fourth being a dick up. Mm -hmm. He was deliberately blasting a spigot, so it made our work like twice as hard it, to what, fit everything. What it did, when he was blasting the spigots, we couldn't put the box section inside another box section because of the surface area. Yeah, it creates like friction. So yeah. it wouldn't just like come in and out loosely, because we were, we were smashing them, like fitting them, like hitting them, maybe grinding some areas. Oh, twisting. it's when you had your really uh, bad migraine. Yeah, twisting all the spigots and stuff like that, because uh, when you weld them, metal warps so on blah blah and then you have to make them say fit flush so nobody has to like do any hard work to get them in and out but then once they went to the blast he was deliberately like blasting the spigots so he caught friction so it made it twice as hard so when you had to pull them all out it thinks so we had to grind off all the part that he was deliberately blasting we even asked him politely not to do it several times several times i know we come across as a pair of dicks now we were but we did our job properly. Sometimes. Well, sometimes. <laughs> it, uh, you know, I've done some uh, disastrous oh. shit in our place. The most annoying thing that we kept doing to each other is switch each other's masks off or set it to grind oh, mode yeah. so it wouldn't go off when, when it arcs. It stayed bright. <laughs> the amount of times you blinded me with that was unreal. And then you got that helmet that would like it was on the outside. You could set the grind setting on the outside. Yeah, you and switched like, it off when I was yeah. welding, <laughs> and you were welding them racks up. And I was like, <laughs> and then you get that weld like that. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, it's funny now, but I did get really wound up back then, didn't I? <laughs> you did. So, yeah. For goodness, stop! <laughs> And then when Liam started, whenever I kept having <laughs> Liam putting things in his gloves, you know the bead things that came with the... Oh, yeah, yeah, the silicon beads yeah. that came in the wire so it didn't I, dry out and stuff like that. Yeah, I used to put them in his glove, like open the package, just put them all in. And then he, he always checked then, just emptied his glove beforehand. But then Paul, he drinks tea, so I asked him to keep me uh, his tea bags. I stuffed all those tea bags, I, I think it was like seven tea bags. So I oh, put man. one in each finger, the one up the top, so it falls out, he'd think it's not in there. And they were soggy. They, mm. they were cold and soggy. He put his hand in, came back into my base, screaming at me, Dav, <laughs> did you just put tea bags in my uh, gauntlet? It's like, yes. Came, <laughs> went back to his bay, comes back in, how many tea bags did you put in there? That's <laughs> the second tea, or third tea bag now that he found. How many did you put in there? like seven yeah right? but there were loads in there like one was in each finger yep <laughs> and the best part then he didn't come around the third uh, fourth time he just lobbed the gauntlet at me and got <laughs> <laughs> went to grab another one because all the fingers were soggy inside anyway oh, or whenever we would uh, switch the gas off on the welders change the welder setting like the wire speed or the heat oh that was the worst every time you've done that it took so long to set everything back up yeah, the welders there weren't the greatest. No. It was like literally a touch that would make hell of a difference. Well, when it came to the wire speed. But wire speed, wire sensitivity, heat, ampage. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> Remember when Gilbert ripped the welder off the wall because you forgot the clamp on the table? Yeah, no, <laughs> I didn't forget the clamp on the table. He did all that. <laughs> I, he told me to move on to the next bit. I didn't know he was going to empty the freaking thing out. And then all of a sudden he moves that table out of the thing and then just rips the entire set from the wall. Yeah, and then two stupid pricks, the supervisor and him, <laughs> start playing about with electricity. That will instantly fry them. It will be just a pile of charcoal stand in there if it actually... I did it though. You, you it did took, it? It took me a couple of attempts, but I did it. Like, I did have to strip apart another welder to figure out the, the wire pattern, but you know. It, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was a good laugh. Oh, puppy dog. I won't touch it. <laughs>